Welcome guys. I'm right down here in the heart of Bangkok. Right behind me is Ratchada, and I'm right over the top of Sukhumvit Road, down by Terminal 21, and uh, near the Asok and uh, Sukhumvit MRT and BTS stations. We're gonna go on a little tour to see what has become of one of the most infamous uh, soys or most infamous streets in all of Bangkok. We're gonna go take a look at what, what has become of Soy Cowboy in the last year and a half. So join me, let me show you around. All right, so we're right out here at the entrance to Soy Cowboy. Now, Ratchet and Pisek is the way you come in from here and it's quite a little busy soy. So let's go inside and see what we see. Well, what do you think, Al? This is the place. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not going in there. Alright, so right at the entrance to Soy Cowboy, you'll be greeted with some motorcycle taxi drivers. Now, these guys are all still set up, even though there's no bars that are open here. So, this is what Soy Cowboy looks like right now. Now, up to about a year and a half ago, this place was crazy busy. There was stuff going on all in here. Now it looks like a post-apocalyptic wasteland. So the soy is about 200 meters long. It's nothing really major whenever you're talking about a city of, you know, 10 million people or however many people are in Bangkok. But 200 meters of some of the most unusual nightlife that you'll, you'll hear about anywhere in the world. So why does it look like this? Well, in March of 2020, the Thai government closed the borders to all tourists. So with the closure of the borders, there was no tourists able to come. And this place was still open and still doing some stuff, but then the government passed a mandate allowing no alcohol to be served. So in the whole country of Thailand right now, you are not supposed to be able to go out and have a beer in a restaurant or a pub or anything like that. There are still a few places that are breaking the rules and you hear about them all the time where the Thai police go to a place and uh, arrest everybody that's in it drinking. Now this in here, this place here, Tilak, it gets kind of its fame from the movie Hangover 2. They changed the front of this bar and then they uh, they shot the movie Hangover 2 or the outside scenes from here. All the inside scenes of that were shot in a studio in the States. Quite a rainy evening. I had to stop filming for quite a while because it was raining really hard. Now, Soy Cowboy, the history of this place. In the early, like, 1970s, this was kind of a backwater place. I mean, Thailand and Bangkok were much, much different in the 70s. So there was no BTS here. Sukhumvit was just a little road. And there wasn't any real development like what you see now. So this was like a little bar. And there would be probably some places that were set up that were like local Thai bars where the, the locals would come and have some beers. In around 1975, uh, an expat businessman opened up a bar here called the Gold Label Bar. And that was the first one catering to 
you know, like expats or tourists to come in to have some, have some drinks and all of that. And then in 77, a retired American Air Force guy, H.G. Edwards, I think his name was, he opened up a bar here. And he was always wearing a cowboy hat. And he opened up a bar called Cowboy Bar. So, you know, he kind of stuck out wearing a big old cowboy hat all the time. So everybody talked, you know, about the bar and it became kind of famous. And the name Soy Cowboy kind of stuck and it's been Soy Cowboy ever since. Now, some very famous places that are here is Shark and Baccarat. Baccarat is really famous for Japanese tourists or Japanese businessmen that would come into this area and that's where they would go. During the daytime, this, this little soy here would set up, all the ties would come, set up, you know, street food. And there's quite a few offices all around this area and they would come down here and have drinks, or not drinks, but have street food. And then during the evening, all those people leave like right now, and this would set up for the nightlife. Now Soy Cowboy opens up into Soy 23. And there's some like little pubs, like an Irish or an Australian pub over there and some restaurants. And then like some massage and the former Queen Vic. Oh yeah, now it's Scruffy Murphy's. It's an Irish pub and it's nothing to write home about now. I've been in there since it's been bought by, uh, from the Queen Vic owners and it's, it's a pass now. But all down here, this will be, you know, some little restaurants, massage places and all that. And basically all of it is closed up. It's not like it used to be. So Soy Cowboy was a pretty quiet place, kind of a dingy, dark, like sleazy place, you know, through the 80s and the 90s. And then in about 2002, some bar owners that was on the Soy Clinton that's now gone, they opened up a bar here called the Dollhouse. And it became, it became kind of the, the hopping hip place to be. And it changed up the whole complexion of this soy. So it became from like a kind of a quiet, like sleazy soy to a glitz and glamour, like neon world. Now, that is all gone, obviously, as you can see. So, but things have changed and maybe after November, maybe with the reopening, these bars will be able to open again and people will be able to return. Whoa, 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 this is it. Oh, you sure? Yeah. That's the white lion. What the fuck happened here? This is insane. And a lot of these bars, they come and they go. So, you know, the dollhouse replaced a like a place to bar, replaced a bar back in the t in the day. And maybe like moonshine will be gone and. Susie Wong's and it'll open up as something else. Cowboys, Cowboy 2. But as you can see, there is nothing happening. And it's been, it's been this way for a while with no relief in sight.
All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed my video. It was a quick little uh, update on what's going on down here. So if you like my video, make sure you click like, subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel now, and share with your friends. If you want to see something different or have any questions, leave me a comment down below. If you want to see something different, let me know, and uh, I will try to make, do my best to make a video for that, if I can. And anyway, guys, remember, life is a journey, so enjoy.